What's up YouTube, this is Ben Bond of OAB Photography and welcome to another really quick behind the scenes. This time around I'm using LED lights or continuous lights for my portrait. This is the Celens GE500 LED lights. I did an unboxing of this light about 4 videos ago and finally doing a shoot with it. I rarely use continuous lights or LED lights for my portraits except when I'm doing night portraits in an environment where there's low light and it's hard to see and focus. Using LED light for portraits is, is quite easier compared to um, using strobe lights because when you're using LED lights you can already see how the light is hitting the model and in this case one light is hitting the model on camera right and one light is hitting the model behind on camera left and I can already see the shot before I take it I can already see how the light is playing on the model's face and hair before I take it compared to if I was using a strobe light that I have to take the shot before I can see how the light is hitting the model one thing is that shooting with continuous light would require you to shoot at a higher ISO and also open up your aperture because the light, depending on the watt of, of your LED light, may not be strong compared to if you are using a 600 watt strobe where you can close up your aperture to like F9, F10 and still get good exposure. And I'm currently shooting at ISO 1000 and my f-stop is f2.8. So if your camera doesn't have good ISO performance, you might get grainy shots. For this last shot, I decided to use a white board to fill in the shadows under her chin and her nose. This also gives a really cool catch light in her eyes. So yeah, this is how to use LED light or continuous light for portrait. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.